So it seems like we're going to be on another rumor mill started by Xbox fans and being, you know, spearheaded by Xbox fans. And it looks like this is not going to end anytime soon. And I just don't feel like Phil Spencer coming out and saying X, Y, and Z is going to change anything. In fact, if Phil Spencer came out today and said, these selection of games or these franchises will be exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem indefinitely, people still wouldn't believe him. And I guess that's really the way it's been going for quite some time. Now, the actual podcast that was done by the Xbox team, the business update podcast, that, in all honesty, really didn't do it any service, any justice, especially when you've got Tom Warren trying to stir the pot by asking, I mean, he asked the good questions that, you know, that's fair. I'll give him that. And it was down to Phil Spencer to make sure that those answers were airtight now obviously no one works in absolutes as we've seen with playstation games are now being ported over to pc more and more and you know eventually under the tutelage of hiroki totoki we're going to start seeing day and date games coming to their single player franchises as well but you know we're not talking about playstation we're not here to you know deflect and say well this is what playstation is eventually going to do so who cares the reality is the xbox community is up in arms again and this has given more people ammunition it's given those that have decided to you know go to the dark side and start talking shit about xbox as a ways to make themselves feel better you know who they are i'm not going to name them but they have now amplified this even more and have started to get more aggressive more insulting to their community um and it's not really nice it's not the right way to do things it's not the way things should be done but at the end of the day this is where we are right now this is where we're going and it's sad to see now do i think hellblade 2 is going to be coming to playstation 5 personally no i know like listening to gaz's podcast he believes that hellblade 2 will be one of the games that eventually do make its way over because it is a double A. They don't believe triple A games will make it through, but they do believe double A games will. And the question came up was whether double A actually included Hellblade. Hellblade is a double A game, but could it be classified as a triple A game? That's the question. Will it sell consoles? Is it a system seller? Is it going to get into the high ratings and become this massive monumental success that shifts Game Pass subscriptions, sells millions of copies of the games, or just sells you know a large amount of consoles if they decide to do a bundled version of it? Time will tell. At the moment, things are looking very quiet and very kind of you know succinct in terms of where it's all at. However, before I continue, if you are enjoying the content, do consider leaving a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay up to date of all content I release. You can support me first of all through my Patreon, YouTube membership, and super thanks. Let's set a 300 like challenge for this video. Back to it. But where we're at right now, the rumorville is getting out of control again. And, you know, I, you just, it's, it's going to happen eventually. You're going to start seeing people talking about telling Phil Spencer that it's time to come out and make a statement. And I just don't think it is anymore because as soon as he comes out, even if he turned around and said 110% this game will never ever be on any other platform, it doesn't matter. Because some bellend is going to come out and say, according to my 75 sources, this is coming to PlayStation. It's almost like these people actively want Xbox to die. Now, this isn't coming from outside where Tom Warren is making bullshit articles. This isn't coming from the outside where IGN is spewing hate articles. This is actually coming from within the Xbox community. And that's the part that I don't get. Like, why, why would you want to cause more disarray with rumours... And then turn around and say, of course, this may not happen because business, you know, the business may change its mind. Business uh, decisions may change and it may never come to fruition. So why do you come out with a controversial statement that you know is going to get you clicks, views and attention 
and then 30 seconds later, give yourself a get out of jail free card and basically make this a nothing statement. Oh, wait a minute. So it's for the clicks, the views, and the attention. At the moment, like I've said all along, we already knew, like, for Hi Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves, I confirmed on stream that those two games I had heard that they were going. I didn't want to talk about them until it became, you know, public knowledge and someone posted it as a leak. At that point, I decided to start talking about it. Those two I knew about for a while. Now, I actually value uh, insider information and if someone tells me something, I genuinely don't talk about it, as you guys all saw in my video. Well, during my stream where I finally uh, decided to talk about it and actually talks about a few more things that were happening. But the reality is, on this occasion, there is no news about Hellblade 2. And there probably won't be for a long, long time. There is no PlayStation port in development. And even if there is, we are only going by assumption. There is no proof. There is no justification. There is no evidence. So until there is, there isn't. It's really that simple. Just because Tom, Dick and Harry decided to tell me that there is this happening, I'm not going to immediately jump on the bandwagon and say, right, this is 100% happening without me seeing any proof. But we live in a world today where everything is for engagement. And Xbox's brand is being hurt day by day to the point where if Xbox actually turned around today and said, right, we're scrapping all plans for another console. I mean, they won't for, for multiple reasons, mainly because, uh, you know, in the US, you know, their biggest uh, region, their internet sucks, right? They're not ready for cloud gaming. If they were, this probably would have been the last year we would have seen an Xbox console. But America's internet situation is pretty bad. And because of that, a console will be warranted. And it's going to be warranted for a few generations yet, yeah, maybe at least two, until they sort out their whole internet situation and get off the metered, you know, data uh, caps. Like in the UK, we don't have any metered data caps and is unlimited. We can use it as much as we want. There's a fair use, but you can essentially use it as much as you want for downloading games, streaming movies, and all of that. I mean, there's some actual uh, subscriptions that you can sign up to that don't even count gaming and movies as part of the data. It's more just downloading large files for like uh, PDFs and stuff like that, work stuff. So in the UK, we've actually got it quite good. We're actually ready for that cloud streaming next step. But in countries like America, they're not. So... Microsoft will always release a console until their biggest base area, at the very least, is in a position where they don't have any more internet issues. But where does this leave, you know, other games? Where does this leave everything else? Hellblade 2, Starfield, Indiana Jones, Blade. I mean, at this point, why don't they just say everything is going, these insiders? I mean, that's what they want. They want to, I mean, they, they turn around and said, I'm an Xbox guy. No, you're fucking not. You're not an Xbox guy. Because if you was, you wouldn't be saying these things just to start causing trouble. People, you know, do you honestly think Phil and team are going to come out again and start talking about this again? After they've just done it? Because if I was them, I'd be like, well, what's the point? People are just going to say that we don't mean it and we're lying and thing. At the end of the day, no one talks in absolutes. No one talks in absolutes. They will never do it. If you turned around and asked Jim Ryan, is God of War ever coming to Xbox? He will turn around and tell you it's exclusive to PlayStation 5. And then if you press him and say, yeah, but is it coming to any other platform? He will tell you it's ex right now it's exclusive to PlayStation 5. Or he will just he not even say the word right now. He will just say God of War is exclusive to PlayStation 5. That's not answering your question, but that's giving you a distinct response that 
in the future that may change. And if you listen to his conversations, his interviews, he says similar things. But why are we as a community going around and purposefully hurting ourselves? Why are we as a community going around and trying to hurt the Xbox brand? It's almost like people are taking maximum pleasure from this. I personally don't get it. I don't. I'm still going on the assumption and of the belief that Starfield, Indiana Jones, Blade are exclusive to the Xbox platform. At least as long as there's an Xbox console. Once that disappears, then nothing really matters. And in regards to Hellblade, I am going to say that that is exclusive to the Xbox ecosystem. You know how I feel about Steam and how I feel about that being outside of the ecosystem and still getting everything. Although I would love to see what would happen if you released an actual console. An actual pre-built console that doesn't do anything else. But anyway, I digress. This is where we're at. I'm tired of hearing these rumours. We've heard multiple times from these rumours that in the previous situation... A month ago, we had all this spat about the rumours and everything going, the whole slate going, nothing going, everything going, the gears, the halo, everything. And in the end, it didn't happen. And now we're being told two more big games are going, and clearly the two games that uh, Risk It is talking about is Starfield and Hellblade 2. Which would be interesting, because if it actually does materialise... Tom Warren would be right. So I do want to st stipulate that he would have actually been right from that Destin interview. I just don't believe it. I personally do not believe it. But you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you tired of listening to this crap? Are you tired of the rumours? Are you tired of Xbox fans just literally shitting on the, each other for the sake of getting a few extra clicks? Let me know what you think. And if you've enjoyed this content, leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date of all the content I release. And if you want to support me further, you can do that through my Patreon, YouTube membership, and of course, the Super Thanks, which I will respond to when I see it and put it forefront in the next video. Right, that's it. Remain Legend.